keep good company. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good habits. This week we've been talking about biblical insights to overcoming addiction, overcoming things that enslave us, things that keep us in bondage to sin, to wrong things, things that displease God, things that are destructive to our own bodies and minds. And we've addressed several different aspects, biblical aspects, that truth that will set us free. We talked about the fact that Jesus has been anointed to set the captive free, and He does set the captives free today. We talked about the fact that the power of sin over our lives has been broken, and we need to recognize that. We talked about the fact that we need to abide in the Word, uh, because uh, that Word, the knowledge of the truth, will set us free. We talked about the importance of consecration. That means we consecrate our whole body, mind, emotions, appetites to God. We say, God, these are yours. They belong to you. We talked about amputating or things that are dealing with things that actually uh, 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 that cause us to sin, that we need to deal with severity, we need to cut it off. It also talked about resisting inducements with the strength of the Holy Spirit. And now this week, we close off this week by just dealing with some one more practical aspect, which is the company we keep, the people we tend to spend time with, or the people we allow to influence our lives. That's very important. As the Apostle Paul wrote here in 1 Corinthians 15, 33, he said, bad company, evil company will corrupt our habits. Our, our, our good habits will even be taken away. They'll get corrupted. So he says, don't fool yourself. The people that you spend time with and whom you allow to influence you are going to determine whether you're going to walk in victory or whether you're going to continue being a slave to the things that you're struggling with. So we want to encourage you to spend time with believers, spend time with God's people who will speak truth into your life, will enable you to, uh, to walk in victory, who will encourage you in your pursuit of freedom. Spend time with those people. Let them speak into your life. Of course, if you're in a place of work or in a school environment or a college environment, you will be around people who uh, may say all kinds of things, will have their own opinions and ideas, may even say wrong things, but you refuse to give them influence to who you are, to how you think, the choices you make, and the way you live. Give good people, godly people, believing people, the right of influence. Deny others the right to influence you. Remember, evil company will corrupt even good habits, but good company will strengthen the good habits you're developing. Let's pray. Father, we ask you, you give us wisdom, to know whom to allow to influence our lives and whom we deny the right to influence. Help us to live a life of victory, overcoming uh, uh, things that enslave us, and to live completely free. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.